So how do I get this big heavy camera bag from point A to point B on an airplane? I'm gonna show you how after this. Ask David Bergman. Hey there, welcome back to Ask David Bergman right here on Adorama TV. Today I've got a question from Rui B and he asks, how do you transport your gear when flying? Do you carry everything on the plane or do you check it underneath? Traveling with gear, it can really be a challenge sometimes, right? Look, if you have one camera, one lens, and a flash, you should be fine. Put them in a little camera bag for protection. Carry it with you at all times. Not a problem. The challenge is somebody like me that's on a concert tour right now, and I'm traveling with a lot of gear, a lot of wedding photographers, other people who travel with a lot of gear, it can definitely be a challenge. So what I'm going to do is show you how I do it. This is my camera bag. This is a Think Tank airport security bag. It's a big roller. When it's fully loaded with my gear, it's heavy. It weighs just under 50 pounds. So I have a lot of stuff in here. Let me show you what is in here. This is my typical concert setup. Now, uh, a couple of things are missing in here right now because we're using them to shoot this video, but I'm going to tell you what's normally in here. I'm a Canon Explorer of Light, and of course I shoot all Canon. It's my favorite gear, so all, that's all I have in here. But my go-to workhorse camera is this Canon 1DX Mark II. This is the sports action camera. I shoot concerts like I shoot sports, so I use these cameras. They're built like a tank. The shutter's going to last forever. The battery lasts for a good three, four shows, and I've shot hundreds of thousands of frames on these cameras. So I travel with five bodies and five lenses. Three of them are this 1DX Mark II. I'll tell you why in a minute, but I've got Three of those that normally go in these three pockets. Again, there's stuff missing because we're using it behind the scenes. Um, so I've got three of those. My other two bodies are, this is the Canon 5D Mark IV that goes right in here. And then this is the new mirrorless, the EOS R, the full frame mirrorless with the grip on it. So those are the five bodies. Now the lenses I use, here's the 24 to 72 .8. This is the RF 2870 for that, R that uh, EOS R. The 100 to 400, 4.5 to 5.6 lens, and then the other two that are on the bodies that we're using is the are the uh, 24 to 105 f/4 and the 16 to 35 f/4, which is overhead right there. So those are the five bodies and five lenses. Now, why do I travel with all that? Well, the way I shoot the concert is I carry two bodies over my shoulders. I use the um, uh, hold fast gear strap, the leather, nice leather strap to divide the weight, which is really nice. And then I have two cameras that I use for remotes. I'll put one sometimes overhead on top of the, uh, in the lighting trusses overhead, and I'll put one more on the drum kit or somewhere else on the stage. And then the fifth camera is this EOS R that I've been using so that I can use this lens. This is that 2870 F2. I use this when I walk around backstage because it's like having three prime lenses. Basically, it's a 28, a 50, and a 70 f2.0 lens so that I can just walk around and shoot available light backstage with this in the dressing rooms, those kinds of things. So that is my basic setup. I also have one more, I have one flash that's underneath this 100-400 and a couple other little odds and ends. I have a little pouch with um, a Think Tank card wallet in it. There's a backup hard drive in there and then my mag mod uh, mag bounce that I use to shoot the meet and greet with. So all of that stuff goes in this bag and again it's heavy. So here's the thing, I will not check this under the airplane. There's no way I would ever give this to a baggage handler to be thrown about. Now these bags are really well made and they're, it's protected but it's not, I'm not going to chance it with it going under the plane. So what I do, luckily I have good status on the airlines. I've been traveling a long time now, so usually I'm one of the first people on. I can usually take this bag on domestically. Internationally, you really should use a little bit smaller bag. The regulations are a bit tighter, uh, but in the U.S., I'm most of the time able to get this on the plane. One little trick, don't just keep this between us, but what, uh, when you put this in the overhead, you gotta just pretend like it weighs nothing and just put it in really gently, because if you go, oh my God, good Lord, if you do that, they're gonna sort of flag you down and they might make you check that bag. So you don't wanna do that. So just you know, work, work on it and just pretend that it weighs nothing. Um, I do carry another bag, a backpack on as my, as my personal item. That's got my computer and you know, odds and ends, so the headphones and things like that. But um, this is my primary camera bag. Anything else that I have to uh, bring with me, like hardware, things to mount remote cameras and battery chargers and things that are not quite as fragile, 
I am going to uh, check underneath. I have more Think Tank rollers that I can use for that, and that gets checked underneath, no problem. Now, this bag, the challenge is once in a blue moon, I do get wind up on a very small plane where it will literally not fit in the overhead. Even sometimes when they say it won't fit, it will, but there's a couple of planes that it actually won't fit in the tiny, tiny little overhead. So in that case, I will have to gate check it, but I will do anything I can. It's worth it getting the airline status to get on first, get that overhead space. I'm that guy that has to be one of the first people on the plane that, uh, you know, pushes my way and I don't push my way in, but I, I want to be one of the first ones on the plane just for that reason. So I don't have to scramble to find overhead space. So Rui, that's how I travel with stuff. I know, I actually know Rui. He's an excellent concert photographer over in Europe and um, he probably travel with the same amount of gear that I do. So uh, that's the way I handle it over here in the U.S. Hope that helps. Hey, listen, if you have a photo question about anything photography related, make sure you go to AskDavidBergman.com, submit it on there, and I will pick the best ones to answer right here on a future show. Of course, this is Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe down below. There's all kinds of great photo shows, free educational content from other great photo hosts here at Adorama. So thanks for joining me. Ask your own photo questions. I'll answer new ones right here next week.